Dear Hero, Optimal Forage in Theory states that organisms forage with the goal of maximizing their energy intake per unit of time. In other words, Dear Hero, organisms behave in such a way as to find, capture, and consume food containing the most calories while expending the least amount of time possible. A predator is an organism that eats another organism. The prey is the organism which the predator eats. These titles almost always refer to animals, but the same concept applies to plants as well. The evolution of predators selects traits for efficient hunting, whereas the evolution of prey selects traits for efficient evasion. Dear Hero, in the evolutionary arms race, prey are considered to be ahead of predators. Reasons given for this are that the generation time of prey species is often shorter, allowing them to evolve faster. The life dinner principle states that the prey is running for its life, while the predator is running for its dinner. This creates a tension for evolutionary selection that is stronger for the prey. Predators usually have several prey that they can choose from when looking for a meal. This means for the predator, giving up is not a life or death decision. We should also note that predators need to be incapable of extreme efficiency or else they risk wiping out their food source completely. Darwinian puzzles like that do exist, but the one in question only appears to apply to the human being. Many prey animals group together to avoid predation. This grouping increases the chances a predator will be spotted before it can attack. Social foraging also increases the time spent gathering food as each individual has to scan less often for predators when the group as a whole is alert. The stages of predation refers to the sequence from detection to consumption that a predator goes through while hunting for a meal. The sequence begins with detection. This is the recognition of prey as objects which are distinct from the background environment. Anti-predator defenses of this stage include immobility or staying still, confusion or surprising behavior, and crypsis. Crypsis is the ability to avoid detection and it is a trait common for both predators and prey. It is relatively low in energy costs and usually works best when the organism stays still. Some examples of cryptic traits are nocturnality, transparency, or camouflage. The next stage of predation is identification. This is the recognition of profitable or edible prey and the decision to attack. Anti-predator defenses of this stage include chemical defenses like poisons or noxious substances, warning signals, and masquerading. A warning signal is the honest expression of unprofitability. This is usually accomplished with bright colors, patterns, and or loud distinctive sounds associated with aggression. Two types of masquerading are the Batesian mimicry and the Malarian mimicry. Batesian mimicry is when a harmless species resembles a dangerous one. Malarian mimicry is when two or more dangerous species evolve to resemble each other. The next stage of predation is the approach. This is the stalking or the chasing of the prey. Anti-predator defenses of this stage include escape by fleeing, startling and threatening behavior, or aggregation, which is the gathering in a group to dilute a predator's focus on a particular individual. The next stage of predation is the capture of the prey. It prevents escape and is required for consumption. Anti-predator defenses of this stage include mechanical methods like claws and fangs or noxious and toxic substances. Grouping together also works to the prey's advantage as well. The final stage of predation is the consumption or eaten of the prey. The only anti-predator defense of this stage is safe passage through the digestive system. 
gastropods like sea snails are one of the few species that can do this. Dear Hero, in order to effectively evade predation like the dangerous Wednesday Adams, it will require that you recognize the behavior of predators while hunting, and you will need an arsenal of defenses in the events that you have been identified as a potential prey. And so my friend, I encourage you to remember the stages of predation. 1. Detection. 2. Identification. 3. Approach. 4. Capture. And 5. Consumption. Defenses that can aid you in most of these stages are 1. The way you look. Blending into your environment, masquerading as something more dangerous, or revealing your true dangerousness are ways you can accomplish an unprofitable appearance to your predators. 2. Your voice. It is possible to dissuade a predator by simply being noisy. Remember, you are protecting your life, whereas a predator only wants an experience. If you are too much of a problem, they will usually turn their attention elsewhere. 3. Mechanical defenses. Manipulating your environment into traps or weapons, behaving with ferocious aggression, and escape by fleeing all fall into this category. And finally, dear hero, know that isolation is the most dangerous situation for one identified as prey. Place great value on your friends and family, for they protect you in ways that are only recognizable to those who would choose to hunt you. I'm not perky. That's for damn sure. But I want to be.